Hello and welcome to today's mini interview for the Food for Data series. We'll be sitting down with Julian today, who is the co-founder of Terra and an ex-data leader. Today we'll be discussing how he deals with data when launching a new company and what the benefits and challenges are when analysing data from scratch. So, hello Julian. Hi Natalia, <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, so it'd be really interesting for us to set the scene for our audience today. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your background and some insight into Terra? Yes, sure. So uh, my name is Julian. I'm French. I'm 34 years old. And I uh, graduated from an engineering school uh, a bit more than 10 years ago already. And <clears throat> I uh, quite um, quickly joined the data scene uh, before even it was like so hype. Uh, in 2013 at Criteo, uh, digital marketing company, uh, where I uh, joined as a data analyst. And um, quite, uh, quite quickly, I, uh, I built a team of data analysts uh, that are, would be called now data scientists um, and, um, and moved to another company called Glovo, where I uh, was recruited as the head of data. Um, so, um, startup, uh, very, very much startup, uh, spirit. Um, and after a couple of years, I, uh, I started, uh, my own, uh, business as a freelance, um, helping companies deal with their data, um, in a more broader way, uh, in a more general way, 360, uh, advisory data advisory, I would say. Amazing, amazing. And what is it that um, Terra does? Um, I'm sure our audience would be quite interested. So after 10 years in data, I, uh, I, tr I, I uh, wanted to uh, get closer to something that uh, is a passion for me, which is coffee and uh, coffee roastery and coffee. And um, so I, uh, I built this company with my, uh, with my partner um, and uh, Terra is a pretty simple company in a way that uh, it's a coffee roastery and we also source uh, chocolate from uh, Colombia. Um, wow. All our products are from uh, Colombia right now because my partner is Colombian and we only do direct trade. So we have absolutely zero intermediary in our uh, sourcing chain and we uh, treat and we control the, the chain from the, the earth, Terra, to the cup or to the plate or to the mouth, whatever. But um, it's, it's a direct sourcing and uh, eco, uh, ecological and, uh, and sustainable company. Amazing. Sounds very, very exciting. Um, so, yeah, so to go on to kind of like the data aspects of things, in, in what way is data utilized in the context of launching a new company? And what should be the primary objective when using data in this setting? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so data is very important from scratch. Uh, when you launch a company uh, and the most uh, interesting part uh, about uh, data in a, in a new company is that you really get into the essence of what is data for. Um, so basically data gives you insights, gives you client knowledge, uh, enables you to uh, improve your processes. It can enable a lot of things, but uh, when you launch a business, you know that your time is, uh, is very precious and you need to be very efficient uh, in the data you will gather, um, not only for now, but for the thing you're building in the future. Um, so <clears throat> to answer your question clearly, um, um, data in this sense is uh, utilized uh, in a very pragmatic way, meaning that um, uh, you want to track your most important uh, KPIs, which are uh, how, much, uh, how much sales, uh, what is your margin, uh, especially in a coffee business where uh, you have a, a, a lot of a, like a, a cost structure that is quite complex because you buy a lot of things in advance and then you sell it throughout, throughout the year. Um, so uh, data is mostly utilized for our uh, unit economics um, and, uh, and also to uh, gather some um, uh, client data, client habits. Uh, we utilize a lot uh, our B2C part uh, on the Shopify website to kind of uh, analyze our uh, uh, clients' consumption habits, stuff like this. But most, mostly for our uh, for our uh, economics. 
Amazing. And I suppose it probably comes with um, hurdles as well, challenges. Um, what would you say the main hurdles um, that there are as like an entrepreneur like yourself when dealing with data and managing ideas in like a new company environment? Yes, uh, the hurdle, I think it's the, it's the same than uh, with the big companies, which is always, always the, the choice of, uh, um, I mean, the, <clears throat> the, the trade-off between um, short-term, long-term. So I'm explaining. Short-term, um, I want to be able to uh, analyze the data now because I want to know how much, what's my cost structure now, today, yeah. for the past, for the next uh, weeks. But at the same time, so this is a quick win, but at the same time, I need to build a data pipeline that is going to be scalable when I grow tomorrow. Um, but I don't want to waste three weeks, three months, uh, and I don't want to, and I can't hire someone to do that right now because I don't have the funds to do it. So it's always about like um, weighing the pros and cons of a yeah. quick win between quick win and, and, and sustainable solution that is longer. And um, that I would say that's the main hurdle. And um, the second one could be, um, prioritizing, prioritizing the, the 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 KPIs you wanna you wanna analyze because you have a you have a you have not a lot of time you don't have a lot of time uh, you have a million things to do and uh, you need to uh, stick to some uh, objectives and KPIs to see how much you're how, how how well you're doing compared to your target so um, so these are the two main uh, the two main hurdles yeah and I suppose as an entrepreneur as well it's exciting is the data that you're getting to analyze you'll get the first look of what the final and uh, the final purpose is and then um, let's say probably say what are the other benefits of being able to analyze data from scratch and being able to do it this way instead of being in like you know another organization like you have been in the past mm. well it's, it's a little bit like when you uh when you build a house from scratch, like you, uh, you have a you have a field and you can build it the way exactly the way you want, so you can build the structure you want and um, and you can you get to understand every bit of it. Uh, whereas when you when you uh, use um, ready to use tools, I mean that's great, um, but at but at but at the same time you are um, you're kind of um, p putting bricks in some uh, in some in a in a path that is or or in an architecture that is already built no uh, whereas now you understand that um why for instance why is the structure of data so important uh why um, i mean how the data is constructed what you want to record what do you want to what do you want to keep as a data for now and for later um you get to see uh, what uh um, what different uh, databases or data sources you want to create. Uh, so basically, you just do it your own way, which yeah. is uh, a, at the same time time consuming, but it's very challenging intellectually. And also, uh, but it's also like very rewarding when you when you get to create a good structure. Yeah, 100%. And then I suppose kind of like because you've got probably a got bit of knowledge and experience in this now. So for other people, out there in the same position as you what advice would you give to them about data related challenges that they might be facing or where to start when focusing on this part or probably setting up their new business mm -hmm. uh i would say keep it simple keep it simple keep it simple it's Great very very <laughs> it's very easy to make it complicated it's much much more complicated to keep to keep it simple because simple means uh, that you commit to something that you can track. Mm -hmm. um, committing to something you can track is, uh, is very difficult on a daily basis because you are responsible for your choices. So you take time to make choices. You take time to uh, set up objectives, goals, and, uh, and it's very easy to track them. But mm -hmm. sometimes you don't want to see how good or how bad you're doing. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, I uh, come. I come from a world where uh, you analyze every bit of things, everything. You know, you cut the the hair in four, how you would say in French. Uh, but it means that you kind of, you know, um, you make a. I don't know. You are you're like focusing on small things and uh, tune on some things, etc. But here we are cutting the all the all the 
all the peripheral things we're cutting it we just keep the the core the core the core we keep it very simple and that's how you uh, you run um, a business first and that's how you analyze I mean that's how you use data the best way possible especially when you when you launch a business when you need to be very focused very pragmatic and very straight to the point no, I like it well you heard it here first, Julian says, keep it simple. So we should keep it simple. I remember you giving me that bit of advice when we spoke a couple of months ago as well. That has stayed with me. Um, but no, thank you for joining us today on the Food for Data interview series. Hopefully our audience will get some insight into, you know, if they're thinking of starting up their own business and they come from the data world. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you so much.